Hi guys, so rather than doing these long-winded videos that I have been doing, I'm going to try and make the next few short and sweet and give you some tasks that you need to complete in each one. So over the next couple of months, we're going to say, we're going to stick to the topic of staying on track in the theme um, of the seminar that we're going to be running. So hopefully we can really dial in our thinking towards trying to stay on track and this seems to be the thing that or it's the, it's the part of the whole process that I think once we can get this nutrition dialed in and get us actually seeing consistent results um, that's when we're going to see the bigger changes because we've already got or we're already getting really good results in the training sessions your weights are going up every week you're getting stronger, your movements are getting be better, and to see those toned and and to, to see those toned muscles and to see the changes in your body shape and these kind of things, we really need to, to get the nutrition dialed in so that we can get rid of any fat that's hiding the results that you've gotten so far. So over the next couple of months, I really hope that we can develop a strategy for everybody Obviously everyone's going to be slightly different, but hopefully we can develop something where you can see all the fruits of your, of your labor. So the first task that I'm going to set, and this is a really important um, few points I want to make here, is when we first start, we need to set ourselves a time period in which we are going to make, make this time period a fat loss phase. Because if we feel like we're, we're just going to be doing um, a diet forever and we're going to, always going to be in a calorie deficit, it's going to just be incredibly hard to stick to because we feel like we're never going to get a chance to eat the things that we want to eat because we feel like it's like a lifelong um, process. And yes, there will be some changes that will carry on for, for life, but it doesn't mean you have to cut everything out all the time. You will need to cut some things out. Um, in the meantime, but it shouldn't be, or it shouldn't be something that you shouldn't be dieting for forever. I made this mistake. Um, I hit a point where I was burnt out, and I probably should have just given myself a break. And it was just impossible. I kept falling off and ended up overeating, and then going back to my old ways, and then trying to put myself back on the diet, and then falling off again and really what I needed to do was just take a couple of months where I wasn't thinking about trying to lose weight I was just looking at trying to kind of enjoy myself but while maintaining my current weight so first things first we need to decide a set time period where we're going to try and lose the weight so that's number one that's task number one whether it's six weeks two months maybe it's a three month block but have a time period but then and then you're going to go and have maybe a two week break just to allow your mind to kind of just to take your mind off of the fact or take your mind off being in a calorie deficit because we don't want that to be the thought press process all the time we don't want you to burn out the next thing is when we first start we want to put everything or get everything in order so that we are starting from a, a strong position so if, the few things that I would suggest are the following. Make sure that your house has no foods in it that you don't want to be eating. Don't buy like a loaf of bread thinking I'm gonna have say soup and a couple of slices of bread for lunch one day and then you've still got this big loaf of bread, the rest of this loaf of bread, which you're then just gonna eat in amongst your, your meal planned foods. We want to make sure that there's nothing outside of what you've planned in the house, if possible. Because it's been shown in multiple studies that our environment plays a huge uh, role in how, how things go in these, in these cases. And if you have something in the house that you like to eat, there are going to be points where you're tired, your motivation is low, and your, your reluctance to eat those things is also going to be low and you are going to eventually eat them if they're there. I had an experience not that long ago where I was really craving something sugary but because there's nothing in the house I decided to have nothing and the diet kept going. I can maintain that momentum 
and it's carried forward now and I'm still in a good place with it. So that's it's a huge factor that you don't want to underestimate. Make sure that your house is only filled with the foods that you want to eat and the foods that are on the plan. The second point is have a meal plan. Have something where you, you basically know what you're going to have each day and then stick to it. Get a few days under your belt. In fact, I always say get through the first three days and you'll start to feel that feeling of success and then from there it just perpetuates and you just seem to be able to stick to it because in your mind you're like I'm on a roll here I don't want to break it and then when someone asks, it, asks you or offers you something that you know is not on the meal plan it becomes a lot easier to say no because you're in a routine you're like in your and you're enjoying the feeling and you're enjoying the results and the results will start to come quick when you get this momentum and the, and the results themselves will help you maintain um, adherence and continue and allow you to continue to get progress. And the next thing which ties into the first two points is number three, when you go to the shops, only buy what you have on the meal plan. Don't buy any extras, don't buy something because you think you might like it one day as a treat uh, or on a refeed day or whatever else it might be or a, you just want to buy the things that are on the meal plan so that's all you have. So you make your meals that you have on the meal plan, you have your snacks, all the rest of it, and stick to that. This may not be the way things go for the entire diet, but it'll give you a default that you can fall back on. And if you can try and at least stick to just the default for three days, and then maybe a week, maybe two weeks, because then you get into a routine, you know how to make everything, it doesn't take much time because you do it every morning or every weekend, when, if you, whenever you do your meal prep, it just becomes a routine and that's when things start to happen. We need to put our results first over the pleasure of having all the foods that we really like. When we try and push everything together, like we want the results but we also want to eat the foods, we just put ourselves in a position where we're more likely to, to fall off. We need to almost get a little bit of tunnel vision to begin with just to get out of the ball rolling. So there's three tasks for you to start with. That is, make sure the house isn't filled with foods that you don't want to eat. I don't care necessarily. Like, one thing we have to say is that we know we don't like to waste food, but what's more important in this stage in time? If your goal is that important to you, this is going to be a big factor in whether you succeed or not. So empty the house of all the things that you don't want to eat. Two, have a plan. Write it out. Make sure it fits your calories. It's high in protein and it's got a mix of fats and carbs. I would worry more about your protein and your calories to begin with. And then, lastly, go and do your food shop so that you have food for seven days. You can have a variation of three days um, and just vary those three days for the first seven days. And make sure that's all you have. So you have the seven days worth of food that you got from your food shop. Make sure you're not going to run out during the week before you go and do your next food shop and allow that momentum to happen okay so that is all for the first video i will probably be uploading slightly more regularly but making them short and sweet like this and let me know how you get on comment below and i'll catch you guys in the next video